this point, the spark for World War I was ignited. It was a century ago that the assassination of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand in Sarajevo set off the match that led to a chain of events initiating World War I. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we will hike to Mount Trebovich in Sarajevo and explore a neighborhood of this, the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. On the intersection of the assassination is the Sarajevo Museum, showcasing life in the city up to the end of World War I. Here's a photo of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand moments before his assassination. The Sarajevo Museum is a natural starting point to the hike towards Mount Trebovich Immediately crossing the Latin Bridge, the Latin Bridge is one of several points in the city that crosses over the Miliaka River. Once across the Malaka River, this is the district neighborhood of Sarajevo. It is from here where the cable car goes to Mount Trebovich. However, we won't be taking the cable car, rather we will walk the eight kilometers to get to the top of that mountain. Across from the Miliaka River is the Emperor's Mosque, originally built on this site in the 15th century. The centuries-old cemetery at the Emperor's Mosque sits quietly within Sarajevo's Bistrik neighborhood. A range of architectural styles in the Bistrik neighborhood of Sarajevo, ranging from old and historic to rebuilding and the contemporary. In the center of the district neighborhood is this Franciscan monastery constructed in 1894. Pardon the pun, but I'm having a devil of a time saying the name Mount Trebovich. Please don't ask me to pronounce the name of this monastery. All this hiking, and I haven't even gone to the base of the cable car for Mount Trebovich. I'm thirsty. I think we're going to stop by the Sarajevo Brewery and Museum for a pint. The Sarajevo Brewery Museum is the only beer museum in Bosnia. The original Sarajevo Brewery was constructed in 1864. Its present day site in the Bistrik neighborhood has been here since 1881. What will we be tasting? We'll taste one of the best, our premium. That's it. Try. Okay. The premium from Sarajevo Brewery. Ooh. Ooh, that's a distinctive flavor. I, I, think, I think I can really taste the barley. So after this beer, it'll be on to the base of Mount Trebovich for what will become a late afternoon hike. Although we're not taking the cable car to Mount Trebovich, there are a couple of stops along the way. And one of which is this recently opened ice cream shop. Malo Aslatko, small and sweet. Yulia has been doing a thriving business in the one month she's been open. What's, what's your favorite flavor here? Everything. Oh. I like everything. I <laughs> myself. Okay. You still must have a favorite. Which one's your favorite? My mixed fruit. Mixed fruit. So is mine. Is it purple? Where's mixed fruit? 
There it is. Mixed fruit at Ulius Ice Cream Shop at the base of the cable car heading up to Mount Trebovich in Sarajevo. Beside the ice cream shop is a particular Sarajevo experience. It's called the War Hostel. Here in Bastik neighborhood, it was particularly hard hit during the siege of Sarajevo from 1992 through 1995. Visitors and guests of the War Hostel get the experience of what it's like to have been under siege in a private residence. The Trebovich cable car originally opened in 1959 and it ran for 30 years before closing in 1989. It was only in the spring of 2018 that this mode of civic transportation reopened. From the base of the cable car in the Bastik neighborhood of Sarajevo, now our work begins. We have a six kilometer hike to the top of Mount Trebovich and we've got two hours of daylight. How was the hike? Great. Oh, really? No, you were <laughs> huffing and puffing. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah. So is this what I have to look forward to when I go six kilometers yeah. up to Mount Trebovich? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. this is the only hard part. Oh, this was the hard part. Yeah, and then you have another pair of stairs on the top. Ah, okay. I've been told that there is a shortcut of stairs as I climb my way through the Bistrik neighborhood toward the top of Mount Trebovich. That shortcut has paid off so far as it has provided a nice panoramic view of Sarajevo even before getting to the apex of Mount Trebovich. Why do they have to make mountains so steep? I'm on some road called Kamenica as it serpentines its way up to Mount Trebovich. I don't know what would be more refreshing, a ride in the cable car or a bite from this local apple tree. Mount Trebovich, that way? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yeah. And what did you see on the way up? The bobsled track. Yeah, that's an abandoned bobsled track from the Olympic uh, Games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's it sounds like you guys have an accent from a country where they care about bobsledding. Uh, uh no, uh, not, not really. Not, not, <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I gave it a try. Where are you? Where are you from? Denmark. Uh, Denmark. Denmark. No, yeah. no, I, I, no. Uh, badminton. Maybe in Norway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Badminton, yeah. not bobsledding. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which which way is the bobsled track? Uh, you can go uh, this way, but it's grass. It's not safe, I think. Okay. Uh, you should go uh, down this street and then turn right. So down the street and turn right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. So I've been given better instructions. Instead, we're going to go through the forest. No landmines? No landmines. Well, wait, wait, no landmines? What's that? At that last stop, another neighbor chimed in. His name is Vahilin, yes. and he insisted that he drives me uh, somewhere up the hill. Now, I'm steadfast in wanting to have hiked, but he absolutely insisted, and he'll also have something to share when we get out of the car. Oops, that was a hard break. It, uh, it looks like Vahilin isn't shy with his cigarettes. <laughs> Winston being his uh, smoke of choice. <laughs> I wouldn't usually call 40 kilometers an hour breakneck speed, but uh, but along these roads, uh, it, uh, it it feels like it's going 120. You know, all all, all of a sudden, I'm uh, I'm not feeling so bad for uh, for t for taking a lift. I've got 
lot to think this is a shortcut and this is not the hiking route to get to the top of Trebovich. This is the view from atop Mount Trebovich overlooking Sarajevo. We're at an altitude of 1160 meters. Of the local mountain range surrounding Sarajevo, Trebovich is one of the lower peaks. Change of plans based on the unexpected lift, we're going to end the story at the bobsled track. Used during the 1984 Winter Olympics, the bobsled track became abandoned, then overrun because of the Sarajevo siege. The bobsled track is so iconic in Sarajevo that because of its graffiti and its isolation, it can be used for all sorts of activities. Why are you filming? Uh, we are filming, uh, he's, he's a fitness, fitness coach. So we are filming like a promotional video and, uh, and uh, photos. Here is my best bobsled imitation from atop Mount Trebovich in Sarajevo. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on our next episode. Saying goodbye from Sarajevo, Bosnia, Herzegovina. Instead of, a, instead of the usual outtake, I'm gonna have a quick interview with the Heden. For those of you who might be a little squeamish about war details, this is the reality of Sarajevo. The Heden was the one who gave me an unexpected lift to the top of Mount Trebovich, and he has a few words to say about his experience, specifically here at the bobsled track. Godine, my friend, on what injuries did you sustain? Amputacija the Heden actually wanted to present something to me, um, so I thank you. Um, yes, and uh, I actually I actually looked at this uh, before we started to film. Um, I looked at this, and it looks old. It it does look treasured. Um, it's in Arabic. Um, I I asked if I was worthy of this, and and the Heden said no gift can be refused, and for that. For that, I am touched. Thank you. Thank you. This is um. This has been another edition of uh, of Borders on Budgets. Thank you for for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode, and saying goodbye from Mount Trebovich in Sarajevo, Bosnia Herzegovina.